Hello there ladies and gentlemen, my name is Zephyr, like the wind I go and like a man I come. And today, I have come to give you a game called Automachef and to see if it's worth playing during your downtime. I have a thing for management game. After completing Moonlighter and Racketeer, my search for the next store management game to play is what brought me to Automachef. Automachef isn't exactly a store management game in the sense of you going around collecting trinkets, crafting items to sell, but you are still managing a store, though in this case, you are managing a restaurant kitchen instead. Automachef is an automated restaurant simulation game and it is developed by Hermes Interactive. And as you can see from its theme and aesthetics, Automachef is leaning towards the casual side of automation rather than having multiple layers of automation interconnecting between each other. So if you are looking forward to an automation game with the same level of complexity like the likes of Factorial or Satisfactory, you won't get that here. Besides, at the end of the day, Automachef is an ultimately a puzzle game. Before we get into the gameplay and review of Automachef, Let's take a look at the settings menu first. The setting menu is pretty bare bones but it does have the basic necessity of every menu which is allowing you to change the volume of the game, screen resolution and graphics quality. If you have a controller plugged into your PC, I believe the game allows you to switch between playing on a mouse and keyboard or a controller because of this option here. You can rebind your keys for the mouse and keyboard and I find that to be very lovely. But if you're playing using a controller, I do not know if you're able to rebind your key mapping for the controller as I do not own a controller myself so I'll be mindful of that. As you can see from the main menu, you have the campaign mode, contracts mode, scenario editor, test site and mods. The scenario editor, test site and the mods can be lumped together as those three are basically mods that you can get off from the Steam Workshop. But sad to say, the modding scene is already dead and even when the game was released back in 2019, the modding scene didn't really took off. So the only mod you can play around with is the campaign and the contracts mod. Now, the contract mode is kinda like a career mode where you can take contracts for which you will do your best to achieve the contract requirement and earn as much money as you possibly can all the while trying to keep the cost at the bare minimum and as far as I can see, I don't think there's an end game goal for you to achieve in contract mode other than completing one or two steam achievements for the gameplay, I'll be showing you the gameplay for Automachef via the campaign mode instead of the contract mode. And for that, we'll be going through one of the earliest levels of the game. Let me see, uh, we were going through, alright, first this, the first level of the game. Considering you do not count the tutorial level there is. No. Every level has three objectives for you to fulfill and for this level you need to fulfill 10 orders use less than 500 watts of power with 40 ingredients or less now even though there are three objectives for you to accomplish the main objective that you need to complete is the order requirement filling the other two objectives will still allow you to move on to the next level as long as you complete this one objective you are given a budget of $50,000 for this level and the recipe to prepare a, a cheeseburger and a simple plain burger. Now if you can't remember or don't know the recipe or the orders, you can click on the recipe over here and it will show you what ingredients you need and the process to do to complete the recipe and for the cheeseburger you, for and for the cheeseburger you need one burger bun 
one raw patty after which you need to grill it to become cooked patty one cheese and after that slice the cheese to get a cheese slice and combine all three ingredients together to get a cheese burger and for that we need an assembler to assemble the cheese burger three dispenser for the three ingredients which is one of them is burger bun a cheese and a raw patty now how we're gonna assemble this pretty oh, pretty straightforward the burger bun will be here along with the cheese you'll need a electric grill for the patty to get cooked now next is we need a robotic arm to deliver our ingredients out one for the patty one for the burger one for the cheese but we want this arm here to be on the right side so that the cheese will be delivered into the assembly machine right over there and don't forget to have one more right outside so that the assembly can pull out the assembled item which is the cheese burger now you want to have a smart robotic arm here well this robotic arm can well pick up a very specific item and for this case you want to get a cooked patty instead oh my goodness i think i need to get myself a new mouse because my scroll wheel isn't working huh? there we are cooked patty because if you don't set this uh, setting to cooked patty you just grab whatever that uh, comes to it so remember to set the thing to uh, cooked patty instead now we are almost done we are almost done for more precision we want to use an order reader and we'll just use what oh that is more than enough you set it to cheeseburger connect it to the cheese ensure that you only perform one time on new order one time for a burger bun one time for a cheese patty and raw patty and the last one for the assembler itself where let me see perform one action on the new order now once we that we can click on the cheeseburger and simulate the order now i wanna turn it on and off to see whether you are running the game efficiently in terms of power oh my looks like we are not we got some error over here what's wrong cheeseburger uh-huh hmm why is the cheese got delivered? Yeah, I need cheese burger, so I need cheese. Oh yeah, I forgot. Silly, silly me. You need sliced cheese, yeah. Oops, forgot to do that. The cheese needs to be sliced, alright. Now this will work perfectly well. Oopsie. Okay. Now there is a working recipe. And voila. That is automation. And that's the gameplay for Automachef. It's simple and straightforward. The three objective in Automachef makes the game looks like one of those free-to-play mobile games. You know, the kind where you aim to get 3 stars for every level before moving on to the next. And even if you just get 1 star, you can still move on to the next level anyway. Those kinds of games. The difference between Automachef and those free-to-play mobile games Besides the point that Automa Chef is a paid game, is that the latter has incentive in achieving 3 stars, whereas in Automa Chef, there is none after you have completed all 3 level objectives. Other than pushing yourself to the limit or satisfying your own vanity, getting 1 star is more than enough to proceed on to the next level. The only thing that changes as you progress through the level is the recipe that the game required you to produce for that level. The ones that you saw earlier on, the plain burger and the cheeseburger, is one of the few easier recipes in the game and the higher you go, the more complex the recipe will be, but it won't be anything too crazy. Besides, the game allows you to save your recipe setup as a blueprint, so you just need to set it up once and save it. It's a neat little feature, as there are levels that will use the same recipe and with the blueprint, you don't have to start from scratch all over the game. So, when the objective is the same throughout the entire game, where lies the challenge? Well, there is almost no challenge at all. I say almost because there are stages in the game where it requires you to share the same machine 
for multiple recipe due to the budget restraint but most of the level doesn't require you to do that and that you can have a not so compact and efficient production setup and when you do share the same machine despite having a huge budget most of the time you are trying to grind out the maximum efficiency percentage for that level again just like the three objective there is no incentive on grinding out 100% maximum efficiency for every level not even steam achievement despite having almost zero challenges automachef have a very annoying hidden danger this hidden danger doesn't appear on the early levels of the game and it starts to pop up after you have unlocked the tutorial stage on how to repair broken machine and every level after that there is a chance that your machine will break down for no reason if the game integrates the factor of the machine breaking down due to processing raw ingredients 70 times or that the grill is turned on for more than 800 seconds for example the mechanic of machine breaking down may pose a challenge as you now need to key in the possibility of the machine breaking down due to wear and tear at certain key points which results in you having to rearrange your production setup this allows you to get rid of the chance of your machine breaking down or at least control it to a certain extent but no this machine breakdown mechanic is totally random you do not know when or where it will break down a small change in your production setting will cause the breakdown to appear either later earlier or even at another location instead this isn't a challenge, it's an annoyance. I miss playing the earlier stages of Automotion, back to the time where there is no random machine breakdown for no reason and all you got to do is complete the objective within your assigned budget. It was fun and compelling, but at the later stages, I find the game to be mentally taxing to play. I find Automotion to be a game that hasn't realized its full potential. There are so many things that the developer can do to make the game more fun or challenging. They could add machine restrictions like complete this level without using an electric grill or that there is only 5 dispensers to use on this map. They could even play around with the tiles such as you cannot place down your machine at a certain spot of the level or that there is already one or two electric grill on the map which you cannot change the location and that you cannot deploy any more electric grill and if the developer is really ambitious he could even go for environmental impact mechanic such as having a level with high lightning activity which will cause your machine to be uncontrollable and 100% more efficient for the next 20 seconds or so when the lightning struck or a level where you are cooking in a volcano and due to the high heat all of the ingredients will be naturally cooked without the use of an electric grill and that the food can be burned when it is not delivered on time. There is so much gameplay potential lies within Automation, but sadly the game is dead, abandoned by the developers. And that is Automation, ladies and gentlemen, and you can get the game for $14.50 or your region equivalent. Can I recommend you getting this game for your downtime for $14.50? I can only recommend it if you are looking for a casual puzzle game with a unique twist or theme. Otherwise, I cannot recommend this game to you at all. But if you are still interested, there is a demo for Automotion for you to try out and the link for the demo can be found in the description box below. Considering the criticism I have for the game and its asking price of $14.50, I rate Automachef 6 out of 10. Should the potential of Automachef be fully realized, I would have rated the game even higher. My name is Zephyr, like the win I go and like a man I come. And now, it is time for me to go. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you have enjoyed the video. Stay safe, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya!